Hey guys, welcome back to part two of Hogwarts Legacy. I have filmed a part one, it's already up on my channel, and in that we basically do our character creation, we select what we look like, we go on our first little mission to Hogwarts, we meet Professor Fig. It's basically the introduction to the first part of the entirety of Hogwarts Legacy. So in this second part, we basically ended the last one at the sorting ceremony, so that's where this second one is going to be picking up and we're about to find out which house that we are going to be placed into which is very exciting so yeah it's going to pick up from there if you enjoy this kind of content hit the subscribe button hit the like button and if you're a harry potter fan definitely check out my channel but let's just get straight into it oh good we haven't missed the sorting ceremony I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I love it. I genuinely I need love to study it. this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, of course. Big, of course. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Oh my god, am I ready? Am I ready? No, but also yes. Phineas Nigellus Black. Phineas Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig doesn't Fig. seem to think very highly of nice me. Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're it lucky, very we might man. still be able Always. to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Why is my character walking like that? <laughs> oh my god, the great hall. The great hall. My actual dream. Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Oh my god, guys, it's 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 time it's time to be sorted. I'm ah, so nice. Yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? I don't know I'm acting like it's me, it's you my here with preferences and preconceptions. So I may just put a expectation. Let's carry on with this. So I can't wait to start classes and explore to be honest. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mm. I wonder. Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of. Mm. What is it? Ooh, I feel like oh, defo curiosity and defo ambition, but also daring and oh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to say... I'm going to say curiosity because I feel like I'm a very curious person, but I'm also very ambitious too. Oh, let's go, curiosity. Oh, desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. I feel like I'm mm. curious about Hogwarts, which is why I've gone for that. Clever indeed. And I'm curious about exploring Hogwarts. The ability Hogwarts to, to reflect on. clearly on that which puzzles others, and you've a ready mind, quick to learn, 
Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Okay, so I've been given Ravenclaw. I am actually going to change it, like I said in my last video, to my actual house, which is Gryffindor, because I feel like I want it to be as Possessor representative as possible. Willingness to forge ahead alone when you must. And the majority of the time I get placed into Gryffindor, so I'm going to stick with that. Even though I was tempted to do a Puff Puff because you get a quest to ask about them, which I personally would love to do. But we're gonna stick we're gonna stick with the home house, which is which is I always get those on the official like I got that on the bottom more quizzes and oh, I didn't recently know. One more before, yeah. thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. He's definitely more stern than the modern day Voldemort. <laughs> than the modern day Dumbledore. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Oh my god, that's so cute. I wonder which Weasley she is. Like, it's most her uncommon first name for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Woo! Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Oh my god, so this is... Oh my god, as if this guy is... This is so pretty. What the hell? Oh my god, okay, we're gonna go... This is sick. We've got a, a quill. That is a self-writing quill. Oh my god, that's the coolest thing ever. And we have a little lounge area. Oh, that's playing a little bit of music. I don't think you'll be able to hear it. It's actually coming through the controller. That's so cool. Okay, let's go explore the common room. Shall we grab an apple? Gotta stay, gotta stay healthy. Let's grab an apple. Now, which way is the common room? There's a lot of stairs just to get up to your bedroom, isn't there? Okay, beautiful. Oh my god, this is so nice. Oh my god, so someone's talking about me. 
can I interact with these people? No, I can't. I'm just gonna stand up for all in their personal space. Cool. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is the Gryffindor common room and it's beautiful. They're lucky they didn't end up with dragon like that cool man. Who do you want to introduce ourselves to? Cressida, Gareth or Nelly? Who's this person? Okay, I can't speak to that person. This is beautiful. There's literally a girl nearly on the ceiling. Look at this detail. Look at this detail. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think she can get away That person said you got one. Let's go chat to this You'll like people. it. Trust me. Let's see what they be saying. Gareth Weasley. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you, I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes, a friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth, so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. Nice, You'd think so, so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Oh no, I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Thanks, Gareth. What a nice boy. Very polite. <laughs> He's just chilling by himself, who is he? Oh, we can't interact with him, okay, cool. Not me just walking in the middle of the conversation, they don't take shoes anyway. Nelly Oddsquire. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Oh, she's Goodness. definitely a Gryffindor. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? It's nothing it I true can handle. But I... We handled it very well. I'll say. <laughs> I think you've already earned a reputation for fearlessness. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that I mean, enough? That's pretty badass. Most nice. of us arrive by a train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. Bye, Nelly. I like Nelly. Nelly's got a good energy. But her just climbing back up like it's going on. I should think that's still not working. Oh, press it there. Press it there. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? No, I merely studied with him briefly before we arrived. Blast! 
I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Okay, new Gryffindor. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Thank you, Harry, just told me that. I thought I was an animator. I didn't mind being a cat. The common room is lovely, though, honestly. Really, like, pretty. morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. Ready as well I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Damn, I'm still going to take my owls after my first year. Not here. It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. I will. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. Revelio. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Why do students always run when people? I certainly would have appreciated something I usually like a field guide when I was a student. But Using the guide will also train you to be alert. Right to out of my mood. No time to waste. We've got to do get to keep up. Though I will inevitably pet most creatures that I see. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it. And we'll see what the guide says. Revenia. It does make your eyes go a little bit funny, doesn't it? Like staring at a screen for so long. Like I have to look and look away to like reposition myself back on Earth. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. That's very help helpful, thank you, Mrs. Weasley. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. I'll keep that in mind. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. 
You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade what is Hogsmeade? the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. I love butterbeer. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig! Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Yeah, that guy Perfectly got a rare aptitude for magic. Hogwarts, it's not like they say that to every single character. Only I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. I will Come use find my field me guides. in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those I'm assignments I mentioned. To get the and we'll see job. if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. So this represents main quests. Completing the main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. We want to further the story, don't we? Um, some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Okay. Track a quest with you know what, I want to do Defense Against the Dark Arts first. So the map is enchanted to help you find your way. 
This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. Oh God, He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. So our first quest is complete. Welcome to Hogwarts. A charmed comfort. Okay, will lead you to anything that you're tracking. Okay, check me out. Oh, I you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Steady your wand with Elvoid along the single path. You've just learnt Levioso, how exciting. Levioso. Oh, if only I could do this in real life, honestly. Now, let's try something a little larger. Oh, I see the, uh, this is set for dueling already on the floor. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. actually press to do Levioso. Levioso. Oh, I'm pre now, oh, the, the basic place. cast. Well done. Oh, okay, so I'm going to press R to the same time. I was being stupid there. Ignore me. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. 
Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. Protego complicates things. Levioso. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. If only all of my students from this adept. I do have a lively duel. when your opponent's guard is down. Try to anticipate your opponent's next move. Watch your opponent for signs to attack or defend yourself. Okay, look, no, I'm not. I need to figure out what I'm doing here because I'm kind of just... I can't not bad for a beginner. Same time for one that. You give as good as you get. Happy with I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hexit. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. I reckon I'd be actually quite good at what students. Oh, right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Okay. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Until next time. See you later, Sebastian. Quest complete. Let's have a little walk around the room and see if there's anything going on. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Jeweled Sebastian, he's strong competition. Well done. Thank you, Adelaide Oaks.
Oh, I've come the wrong way. It's been all, all over the gaff with the um, screen. You know when you're like you've been playing something for so long now that your eyes are like feeling a little weird and you've got to keep like looking away to like adjust what we're doing. I feel like this is me. I feel like I can only play this for like an hour and then my eyes are just kind of like not doing well. No, what should we do with it all? Something just. What do you want? There's a flu oh there's a flu pound travel thing or something over here. But can I do anything with this? Flu flames location discovered. Okay. Cool, good to know, good to know. He's off to Charms Cat as well. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to go back to the lesson. He's still on Rebellion and everything, just why not, you know? I think he's gone. Job class, let's go. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of it's review. Not good, it's not Everyone good. get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Right, so now we learn Akio. Let's go. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. I like Professor Well, Rowling. as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! He seems very excitable and very enthusiastic. Which we like. Ah. 
I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. We'll do a, we'll do a practice test here, please. Yeah. It's not. Splendid! Oh. Don't lose your composure! Oh, oh, okay. I think I understand now. That's it! Happens to the best of I'm us. I'm confused. Just to ask you to let it go as well. Excellent, good. Not to worry. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. I don't, I think but I'm... there's certainly no sport in playing without oh, some friendly words. competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm gonna let this person go and see what happens here, because I don't really know what I'm doing. Here we go! Okay, so we need to pull it and let it go. Yes! I I'm not letting it go, though. Oh, Don't I? lose your composure! What's so the... I need to press something else, on I, to stop it, but I'm not actually stopping it. Phew. Right, let me try and press it with the R2 and see if it actually stops it. Oh! Do not be the... Be oh, I think I've been pressing the wrong button! Okay, hold on. I think I need to press the... The other that is how it's done. I could, I could be wrong. Let me see. Let me see. No, I'm, I'm lost. I'm, I don't know what I'm supposed to be pressing. Stay focused. Whatever I'm pressing, it's not stopping it. What is that? Oh, no. Let what us make this wrong? a bit more interesting, no, shall we? No, I don't want this to be. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see. Well, I don't. I literally don't know what buttons I'm supposed to be pressing here, and it's. I'm actually annoyed now because I don't know what I'm pressing 
and I'm, I'm pressing the wrong thing and I don't know what I should be pressing and I'm just continuously going to lose it because I don't know what to do. Happens to the best of us. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient oh, with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Please tell me what I was supposed to press there, because it just didn't. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand? Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can. A word, if you would. If you're so You wanted inclined. to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. After my brother learned the summoning else. charm, <laughs> it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted yes, to speak Samantha to me? Dale. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. If someone says you have eyes like a demiguide, is that a compliment? Someone passed me a glass with a heart on it. I went bright red. I went there and then. Yes! I was waiting to learn Akio so I could collect these flying things in the sky. Field. Field page. 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 Field a bold attack! Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? 
Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a smack. She says it's a boo, and he says it's a flag. Enough. You'll get... See, Mrs. Weasley should not be. You beat Sebastian in a duel, didn't you? Let's go Please. see. Yeah, didn't you? Yeah. Prof Weasley. I'm just running into everyone. And there we have a bit of time to struggle for cats. Aww, oh, cute. Boy cat. Got things to do, man. People to talk to. Oh, what's this? Quest started with the after class. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? She already asked, you know what? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to have him. Mr. Sallow is a capable young man. Sebastian, you know, He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks.
But I'm actually going to end this video there. In the next one, it will start where we picked up from here. I'll be doing the little quest that I've just been set, and then I'll be heading into Hogsmeade, and you can pick up on part three from there. But I hope you enjoyed this one. I am now going to go not look at screens for a while because I feel like I've been looking at the screen for far too long and my eyes have started to go a little bit weird. But if you've enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below if you've played Hogwarts Legacy and I will see you all soon for part three.